It is disgraceful, despicable behaviour. These are the actions of a, uh, a 19th century mill owner, not sort of a 21st century company. So the company obviously knew it was in trouble. So it's hardly, it, it came as a surprise to the management. The correct way of doing these things would be you put together a survival plan, you ask for voluntary redundancies, you work out how to, how to sort your labour force out, and you have a proper consultation 45 days that you were talking about, um, to go through the whole thing. There was absolutely no need to do this except to try and ambush British workers with cheaper foreign labour. Hmm. Um, your thoughts? Uh, Sorry about the interruption there. That was the protest. Uh, just cutting into the sound, as you can see on the screen. If you're listening, you're thinking, what was that uh, interruption there? That was basically the protesters are blocking um, the ways and a couple of lorry drivers, safe to say, are not too happy about it. Anyway, sorry, Charlotte. I mean, I share what's already been said, which is that it's an absolutely appalling and actually just fundamentally inhumane way to treat people. Um, but I actually think it's quite interesting, this argument that p are struggling there might be legitimate, in fact, there probably are legitimate uh, questions around the structure and, and how to make it a viable uh, company going forward. But let's not forget, p is actually part of a, a, a much bigger global company. And that global company, DP World, is one of the largest shipping uh, and logistics fir firms in the world that had a 25% increase in their profits in 2020, and they make over a billion in profits. So the idea that they couldn't have afforded to have supported one of their subsidiaries to actually deal with this situation in a, in a I totally agree, both legal and ethical, moral way, um, I think is just ridiculous. And, you know, this will lead, as previously it has done from the, the, the unions for calls of, you know, nationalisation and, and all that kind of stuff, which, which we did get previously. And this is exactly what gives capitalism a bad faith, uh, a bad face, because it's just you're treating people in such an appalling way. And that makes people think that kind of a market model is a problem. And it's not. But these are exactly the bad characters that, that shouldn't be in charge of anything.